Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, do, 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 did not update that. There we go. All right, yeah, that was from Tuesday. It is what it is. All right, we have made it to Thursday. Pretty sure I, I did unmute myself, right? Yes, I did. Oh, professional, only the top professionalism here. Hey, Rhyme, how's it going? Glad you're here. Um, we're gonna keep going here. As you can see, I have I did play uh, a little bit to to get some uh, stuff out of the way mainly in the fact that we now have, you can see it right there, we have uh, purchased the Arcanine and the Magnetric along with the Houndoom. I was like, what was the other thing in there? Uh, from the Dog Breeder, which means we are now free to um, go catch some stuff. So we're going to grab Lunatone for the purposes of hypnosis. Uh, we're actually going to leave these guys behind. Oh yeah, and I bought the magnetic guy from a shady guy. Um, Aerodactyl. I actually really want Voltorb. Um, I'm trying to figure out who else to bring here for trying to catch things. Maybe maybe stuffed actually. We'll level stuff. Oh, we're gonna be catching fire types. That's not a good choice. What am I doing? Um, glad I realized that now. Uh, we just want something that can really stall. I don't you ever cover? You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Bring corned beef to stall in case we need it. All right, now we get to go catch some Pokemon. So we get uh, three encounters, I think. Cause I, oh, I missed that the entire time. What? That, that was weird. Um. Yeah, so now we get an encounter here. Oh, I see the ash rain isn't happening. It's interesting. What route are we on again? 12. Made it so. Oh, that's nice. Does that fix my current one too? Oh, 80% chance, not 100 oh, okay, I just thought it was constant. Wait, does that mean that... I applied the patch, I swear. Well. Sad. Alright. Um, we're just gonna go digging then. Route 12. So during the day it can be Ponyta, even though right now it's night. So let's see what we can get at night. Sizzlipede, Hound Hour, Charcadet. This is the highest chance we can get a Charcadet. I think we gotta go for it. Is wait, hang on. Is it better to check the volcano first? No, we can't get the Yeah, we can't get a sizzlipede in the volcano. What about, uh, what about the peak charcoal slant it? Turbidance of 5%, morning. And the night. You can get an Excadrill? That's kind of dumb. Yeah, might as well. Uh, the problem is, uh, that's a big risk. I think maybe we just go for the q -fent. Because Salandit is really scary. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, that actually makes sense, yeah. 
So you can't just like override abilities. Eh. Fair. Um. Yeah. So I think we just go here right now, cause it's night, and we have a ten percent chance to get a char cadet, and that's the best we got. So let's go. We're actually gonna go this way. We're gonna be productive while we look for an encounter. I thought that was an encounter. Here it is. Here it is. What's it gonna be? That was vastly disappointing. I mean, I, I imagine you did things to it to make it really good. Um, I just really wanted a char cadet. <laughs> Like, anything other than a chark that You could have dropped a freaking mole trace in front of me, and I would have been like, oh. I am really scared to hit it, though, because it's super squishy. Shell smash? Oh, Macargo. I was like, it doesn't have a shell. Forgot M M Macargo is a, th a thing. I'm curious what all you changed about it. Ooh, that's not great. That worked. Okay, we gotta go buy some Pokeballs. Defense to... I'm sorry, that thing had 90 speed? Oh, that's right, that's special defense. That makes so much more sense. I was like, there's no shot that thing was that fast. Um, the... There we go. My phone was dying. Uh, what do you call this thing? We're gonna call it Cajun. Like Cajun, Cajun food. <gasps> 30 speed, huh? Which means we could potentially Make it slower than a Torkoal. Thank you. Sound! There you go. Um, if it's got 30 speed, Torkoal's only got 20. 20 base, which means there is distinct potential for us to be able to make a Macargo that is slower than Torkoal. Out of, out of just raw spite. That makes me really mad. I would have rather no, actually, no, no, no. I was gonna say the Sizzlipede to the Macargo, but... Tarn! It's great. <laughs> it just gave up. I don't... Ooh! I was gonna say, I don't think he beats us, but this is the one thing he could've thrown out that would've been a little, like, ooh. Never mind. I forgot we're at level cap. Crystallize. Yeah, Lunatone is ridiculous. I don't... Okay, that just looked like an item. Alright. So our options here... 
Um, there, there's two sections of this place. Both have a 5% for uh, Char Cadet. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, I can't teleport yet. Uh, I am. Oh, wait, wait. Alright, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm an idiot. There we go. Why did Lunatone ult- like, that's such bad defense- Magma Armor's not good. That's the worst of the abilities. Unfortunate. Oh, it blocks crits too! Never mind, that's pretty dang good. Twenty. That's more than respectable. That's good. Yeah, no, like that's so the uh the added benefit of not being able to I didn't mean to go here, I wanted the market. Um like, I mean, battle armor's a good ability in the first place, and you just made better, better battle armor. That was very hard. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I was getting there, okay. Do I have to buy these in sets of 10 to get the Premier Ball? Okay. Well, because I know in... I think it's Gen 4 even, and Gen 4 if you buy 20 Pokeballs, it uh, it only gives you the one Premier Ball. So I was like, oh, let's, let's not just throw money away. Oh, the, the lag spike right there. Alright. Ah! I don't know what this guy's got. Hang on. Let's see here. Sven, Tyrant, Carcoal, Knackle Stack. So fighting type would be really good here. Um, perfect. I did. I was like, 520 is, isn't respectable, it's good. Like, that's very solid. Then I forgot to make it out. That's good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, these two would actually be pretty good in here. Um, let's actually grab Broxish, just in case. Uh, and put you away because you're not you're not coming to this fight. Ah, uh, flip defenses. Yeah, yeah. The the standard stuff to do to a uh, to a pair. Either flip like just just move some of their stats around. Boom! It's a new Pokemon. Oh, two custom signature moves. Okay, so what's Lunatones? Crystallize. Revenge. Oh, both get crystal Gert. Both Gert. Gert. Gert crystallize. Carcoal. Revenge. Each different name, so essentially the same, fair enough. This one I'm gonna hammer arm. There we go. I just didn't want to drop my speed too much. Um, in case I needed to outspeed some. What is this? Woo! I can't do anything with that, but woo! 
Did anyone else just hear the Torkoal? I also should have shifted stuffing into the back. All right, Luna. There we go. I was like, anything? Any anything? Carcoal. Not my favorite. Um, yeah. Where do we get quick balls in this? I feel like I haven't seen them. That was the easiest catch ever. Holy cow. Might actually be busted. <laughs> All right, um, yeah. What do we name uh, a lava rock Pokemon that's like, oh, lava cake. Duh. That was easy. I mean, you say they're busted right now, but also remember that your gym fights are insane, please. Oh, another car call, huh? Alright. Alright, shiny Charcadet. Come on. Come on. That's a Turtonator. Can also have Lunatones. That's terrifying. Alright, well, we made it back to the top. Oh, lava cookie. I just, I remembered there being something there, and I remembered that we didn't do a whole lot of searching last time. Oh, that had a mega stone, I think. She gave us the auspicious armor that we can't even use now. Sad. Oh, come on! All right, guys, we got some switch fodder. What is happening right now? There we go. Nope. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Actually, we can use that. I think we can use that. Um, I, I got nothing here. I got nothing for a name. Um, we'll just go with roasted because we're going to roast the crap out of this thing. Of all the things, see, that's why I didn't want to necessarily go for the night, or the... Oh wait, it's the night encounter up here, isn't it? I thought it was the night counter somewhere, encounter somewhere else. Was this the land it? And so I, I was gonna change it, but then, yep, no, I just messed up. Awesome. That would have been great! Alright, was there anything else up here? I think there was. Because I was trying to avoid, avoid encounters here. Um, earlier. Whoops. I didn't want to do that. Oh well. <sighs> Shoot. I might pop a repel just to not have to deal with that. Oh, hey! Alright, oof. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, really? Just as like a quality of life thing. Okay, uh, 
there's nothing up here anymore. At least not, I don't think there is. We'll check this last rock. But I'm pretty sure we already, yeah. Oh. Whoops. I forgot I swapped Noctowl out. Wait, where's Noctowl? Oh, there you are. Alright, now we can teleport out of here at least. Alright. So many- yeah, yeah, we've gotten a lot of encounters this time. Um, and I really don't know what overly changed, because yeah, honey trees are a thing, but it only added a few encounters. Right, it only it's it's added like Ladian, Combi, Beedrill. Hmm. Oh, and Spuba. I mean, I have never. Oh, and Burmy. Uh, I have never denied that excluding statics gives you a lot more encounters. Um. I am well aware of that fact, but I am also well aware of the fact that doing things blind, it's... I'm, I'm showing off the game. We, we've talked about this. I'm trying to show off, like, all you can do here. So. Yeah. Well, so, in a number of Nuzlocks, it would. In ours, it just doesn't. Oh, do I have to talk to this guy? I'm going to talk to this guy just to make sure he doesn't leave. Also, are there encounters here, actually? So we need the good rod before we can get an encounter. Or we need to be able to surf. I think surfing would be better. Alright. Yeah, okay, so he leaves once we beat Gym 5, but we're still gonna talk to him real quick. Gabriel. Is this supposed to be a reference to someone? Oh, good to know. We will grab that TM here in a minute. Yes. Maybe it will get you killed. That's so, like... Show me your ambition. If you manage to defeat me, I'll give you a reward. Uh, and that's a later thing. That's true, you can. Uh, there there was that, uh, the acid drink. Like, that's what I immediately think of. Oh, that was easy. Alright, here. Oh, that's a very small one. Nice. It's nothing. Nothing. Ah, here it is. What is this? Oh, it's another gem. Okay. I straight up couldn't tell for a second. Oh, there's another thing? I thought there were only three. I should really read more. Oh, that's a plate. No, I'm not going to get it. Uh. Oh, really? Cover of what? Oh, hey. Oh, I forgot this was here. Moon Temple. Interesting. I definitely would have just thought you grabbed it off like a professional's list. So very well done. That's what I'm trying to say. Ah, nice. There we go. 
I, uh... It, it captures the right amount of, like... Like, it's not overly sad, but it's definitely, like, contemplative, you know? That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Are these cheaper? It's mysterious. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Off we go. No. Um, okay, so you said there was another TM over here somewhere, right? Let's take a look. Oh, it's hidden. That's good to know. Very carefully hidden. How much is this thing again? Oh, I can buy another one. That's helpful. So it wasn't here. It's hidden. Where would you be? Well, that's mean. Oh. That was sad. Oh, not invisible? You may never find it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but, but how do I get there? Oh, right here. I'm intelligent. I actually remember running back here before and going, what is this doing back here? Like, like why is there this path? Because there was nothing here. And then I had to remind myself that Rhyme also has static Pokemon where you can't get to them. So... Which is cruel, by the way. Oh, really? I thought that I did get back there. Alright. Hey! How's it going, dude? Just about to fly there. Oh, by the way. Make your Pokemon Mega Evolve. But I got two. Huh. Okay. I, uh, didn't know that. I thought that I remembered going back there. Or maybe I just looked at it and I was like, hmm, can't get back there. Hmm. Oh well, guess there's nothing there. Alright. Time for this gym. Let's see here, Gunshree, Jim. Yeah, that Tyranitar is scary, by the way. They're still not too great, but they're passable. <laughs> I like it. Oinkalone, Venusaur, Simipore, Furfru. Interesting lineup. Stuffing is leading the charge. For the Venusaur... You know what? For the Venusaur, we're gonna bring our, uh, our starter for the first time in a while. Wait, what? I'm, I am waiting. Okay. That does not fill me with great confidence, FYI. Uh, I actually do want to bring you, and you, not you. It wasn't that one that- no, it- what? I'm very confused. This one's in a trainer battle, why would this one be changed? Uh, yeah, we'll- we'll- we'll bring you along. Um, I actually don't think you do a whole lot for us. Hmm. Yeah, so the Furfru and the Simipore, I think, are going to give us the most issue. Simipore is covered here, I guess. The Furfru is covered here, so we should... Oh. And then, uh, Venusaur is covered here. 
And then, so we, we really want another fighting type. Um, do we have another fighting type? I don't think we have one leveled. Hmm. We do have this thing. That's a fighting type. You'll do. What if I twisted the dimensions? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, turns out this thing is available in honey fields at night now. Um, so, that was a change that I wasn't expecting. The single most broken ability? Yeah. Um, having it set up for five turns is kind of insane. Um, if it was set up for three turns, I think it would be more balanced because it's just free. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's on a mon that can learn teleport, so you can slow teleport out. Uh, I don't think we want Spark. Both Palmy and Palmar. Oh. Yeah. There don't need to be more things in the lake, uh, because more things in the lake means harder to catch Shellos, and I already can't do that for some reason. Anyway. <gasps> we might have to restart right now. Right now. Alright, um... <laughs> I want my freaking Gastrodon! That you lied to me. Thirty percent instead of two hundred and nine percent. I feel lied to. Black belt. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, I know I've got something in here for... Or not. Um... Which one of these is the sound gem? Oh, gross, I forgot. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, boom. All right, leads oink alone. So we're just going to lead stuffing. <sighs> I think we just hammer arm because we're gonna switch out so, yeah, just killing it with hammer arms. Fine. <gasps> we have a better ability! I forgot we had clutch! We couldn't even use that thing! But now we can. We are a god. So now we have to switch out. What could Venusaur know here? Switch to Pepper Jack? Yeah. Pfft. It got confused by the lingering aroma. What could you be going for here? Bye bye. Semi poor, yep. Alright, let's go ahead and. Oh. Charge beam! Oh, I forgot this thing's moveset is garbage. I was really confused when it didn't fire off a water-type move. 
This thing probably is furry, right? Or fluffy, whatever that is. That was very rude. Just gonna fire off these 90% accurate moves. <clears throat> Alright. Success! Onward we go. This man is a little more annoying. Having a Slow King and then a Vikavolt. Well, Slow King is pretty hard countered by Cacturn. Um, Vikavolt is going to take a little bit more work. Bug and Electric. I think we go with Graveler here. And we're going to use Rock Slides. Um, it's a plan at least. Amura. Um, 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 Amora? Um, however you pronounce that. And then a Magneton. So again, fighting type is good for the latter half here. Ground type is good. Uh, you don't do just a ton. I think we're more than covered on that front. So let's go ahead and switch out Septile. Houndoom would be really good, but Houndoom isn't leveled. Where is Houndoom? Oh, there you are, down, down here. Uh, so we'll have to do that real quick. And this little guy is fine. He's fine. Ah, faint attack. Uh, no. It's a special attacker. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's do it this way. Alright, boom. Leveled. Perfect. I don't know if I love... Um... Destiny Bond on it. I think I might rather Will-O-Wisp or something like that. But I think it's... That's not what I meant to do. Whoops, hang on. Where's my Netric at? My Netric's, uh... There you are. Pretty dang good. And we have the Mega... Uh, option as well. We have all of the fang moves. Yeah, let's let's go ahead. Let's bring you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? What? How much did you give it? One hundred five. Like that's pretty dang good. <laughs> or else strong jaw wouldn't work. Fair. Sorry, wait, bug? This is the flying gem, right? So this is the ice gem? Yeah, there we go. And then I added a move that works with this special attack. <laughs> yes, perfect. It's a physical attacker that can hit on the special side. Uh, I think we just need alarm here. Turn one, just... Yes, yes, that was the play. I want to know what it goes. That's not what I wanted to do. Shoot. Okay, we're good. See, that's where we had spiky shield last time. And, uh... Thought I was clicking spiky shield. Ah! At the... <laughs> Why would you go for Spark? We're just gonna smack down. 
Yeah. This should bring out a Mora. A Mora. I feel like we just win here. Didn't uh, think that that would uh, be faster, honestly. Why would a Brontosaurus be faster than a boulder? Ow. Uh, that's crit range. Switch to black end real quick. Yeah, there's Spark. Flamethrower. Gotta kill, right? That was scary. Um, so what did we learn? Uh, Graveler is really, really slow. And, uh, yeah, that, that, that's the big thing there. Mimikyu, Dreepy, Mighty, and Adoratrix. Umbra. Uh, okay. Mimikyu is ghost fairy? So fruit isn't bad. I actually need a multi-hit move. One hit to break the disguise and then the other to, to deal big damage. Would be the goal. You have Rockhead. Great. Um, I think we actually go with B Drill. Um. go back and heal. I was I was gonna try to avoid it and just switch the party around because like we don't want mudslide in there, right? Um Mighty Anna. Actually it could be also dealt with by you. Dreepy is the is the big hiccup here. The Daratrix. We want a fire type. We have two of them right now, so I guess that's fine. Ooh, hang on. You know Crunch, right? You know Bite, you'll learn Crunch. That's that's not a bad one to bring. The Umbreon is my biggest concern, I think. <clears throat> and we have stuffing for that. Um, I think I want to go heal after that last fight. That one was rough. Unexpectedly. Um... Didn't, didn't think it would hit quite that hard. Well, the Vikavolt I expected, right? Any Bug-type move against Cacturn is going to deal insane damage, right? So that didn't surprise me. What surprised me was the, uh, the Amura. Amora. I don't know why I keep saying Amura. <laughs> Alright, come on. There's Crunch. That's helpful. Really, dual wing beat would actually be kind of nice here. Iron Head is also very good. It's very good. Um, I think we still use B Drill to break the Mimikyu. Poison Jam is nice. I think I like it over Assurance, honestly. That? Oh, whoops. I thought it was 
36. I'm smart. Okay. Um, I think I have silver powder too. Uh, you know what? No, we're, we're gonna be a little, little fun here. There you go. No, 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 I thought Beedrill was at 36. Not, <laughs> not the, uh, the level cap. I think what I actually want to do here is grab this. Yeah, muscle band, and we'll give that to you. I think we probably give it for this battle. We definitely want like the dread plate or black glasses, but I don't know where those are. There it is. I have found so many plates while I was farming for money. Uh, many, many plates came my way. So I was like, I'm pretty sure we have almost every plate. <clears throat> we don't have the zap plate. Um. And I think we're still missing the fairy plate. But I think we have the echo plate. Alright, which one of these types used to be exclusively physical in gens 1 through 3? Crap, hang on. Run back to this room for a second. Uh, I've looked at it. I haven't, I haven't gotten to play much. Okay, so these three are effective to bug and this is ice so that's fire rock which means this one has to be flying the flying was exclusively physical what could this one be that was special this is ice that's definitely psychic Dragon, I bet that's the dragon gem. Is I I don't actually know, I haven't looked into a bunch of those. I want a twin needle and see what this thing is doing. So it breaks the disguise one eighth of its health and then we hit it with that which yeah not it doesn't do damage it wasn't meant to do damage this however is go ahead learn that poison jab <laughs> go ahead <laughs> alright dreepy uh, let's just switch here We'll go blackened. Because this thing gets bug type moves. This thing gets almost no moves. It gets, I think it gets four and that's it. Used to be dull color gray. Whatever that is. <laughs> Alright. Dark. Uh, this thing can't do damage to us. We're going to nasty plot. And then I think we just sweep. Because here's Dark Pulse. Daratrix. That was a good choice. Here's Flamethrower. Flamethrower. Yeah.
And uh, I think the Umbreon survives. Yep. Oh, but we uh, burn it. So that's cool. And now we have more attack power! Yeah. It's interesting that the thing based off a of Hellhound has the ability justified. Also, what in my party was not at level cap? Oh, it's Maynetric. I forgot to level Maynetric. <laughs> Oops. Uh, my cat just ran off with something, so we're going to take a very short break while I figure out what the heck she just stole, and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Next trainer. Oh, it's Bugsy! Interesting. A, a bug, bug maniac named Bugsy that doesn't have a scissor. Interesting choice. Yeah, we're definitely going blackened here. Like, come on. Uh, all the rock would actually be better. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's fine. Um, real quick, uh, we will swap out your. Yeah, I heal, right? So you're not like dying. Cool. Switch you in for B drill. They're all bug types, so they resist fighting for some reason. Uh, yeah, we'll just move you in, I guess. You. Yeah, the Yon Mega is definitely the scariest thing on this team. All right, what's your question? Which one of these is bug not super effective to? So we determined Psychic, that's Grass, this is Dark, this has to be Ghost. Which actually resists the bug type. Not only is it not super effective, or is it not weak to it, it's actually strong against it, therefore. Ninjask. For Tender. Rock Slide. It's quick! Boom. I wonder if there's actually a strat to bug bite your own ally in a double battle and eat their berry like to to gain its effects super early like like the um oh what's that the like attack boosting berry maybe I wonder if that strat has ever been I'm sure someone's thought about it but has anyone ever done it? If this thing has a rock type move, we could be in trouble. That was not a rock type move. That's a lot of damage, though. Fire Fang. This should just kill it, yeah. Alright, Skullipede. This thing could have rollout. It's Venishock. Nice. Good damage. Good damage. The Yon Mega is what I'm a little scared of. Um, because this thing can have rock. It can have like rock slide and ancient power. So we're going to switch to mud slide real quick. Yep, there's the ancient power I was worried about. Oh! Oh, 
Okay. Crap. We gotta go to Season. Season's the only one that's not super affected by rock, and that thing hit like a truck. Okay, no boosts, thankfully. Uh, yeah, no, um... Die. Painfully, please. Boom. Dead. Jeez. That was insane. Yes. We will learn Discharge. Actually, I think Thunderfang's a lot stronger. <laughs> Due to, like, stats. Due to stats, I think Thunderfang is actually stronger, plus it gets a uh, 50% boost from Strongjaw. So, if anything, I would say get rid of Ice Fang. Ah, uh, Tinted Lens. That makes sense. Ice is super effective to... The only thing... It, it's like Dragon, right? Because Dragon Grass... Flying... Ground. There it is. I was like, I'm missing one. So maybe actually keep it for the ground coverage. Yeah, no, I, I just... I think we just don't learn Discharge. Good move, um, but with Strongjaw, it's not as good. Oh, the next one's also a, uh... Dang it. <laughs> the next one's, uh, a double battle. <laughs> Discharge actually would have been pretty good. Because they lead Veluza Love Disc, so, like... Could have actually just like wiped the um, wiped the first one there, the the first two. All right, that really freaking hurt. Like even with tinted lens, that means that it would have just oh, it was a crit, wasn't it? I forgot it was a crit. Never mind. That that's more reasonable because then it would have dealt what like half. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. That's that's fine. Actually, would have dealt a little over half because it's only 1.5. All right, and we are back. Um, so like I said, Veluza Love Disc. So Maynetric's a good lead. I don't, I don't really like Pepper Jack because it's also double. It's it's also weak to both of them. Um, however, Cacturn sounds pretty dang good, especially because it walls the, uh, the stab from the Veluza, although it could have, uh, Aerial Ace, I guess. Um, and then Raichu, Emolga, covered by you. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt to have something else. I really have a whole lot, though. Uh, you're not bad. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. That's better. Especially because that helps deal with the need of king and queen. Uh, so we really need psychic or like... Psychic or water or uh, ice. Um, I would pick you, but whiskey is frail. Um... <laughs> Neither of them have Earthquake, so that's not really something to worry about. Nidoking has Toxic Horn? Double Kick Horn Attack. Horn Attack's a ground type move when Nidoking uses it? Or a Poison type? I, I assume actually Toxic Horn is Poison. So Horn Attack should be um, just a primary, so Poison, okay weird. So it's got two moves. They're poison type. Uh, 
I actually like this. It's got fur coat, so it's gonna take reduced damage. Uh, let's see if we can't get it a decent item. Uh, something... What would I give you? Actually, hold up. Before we do that, let's use... A TM for... Okay, so we can't get... Uh, bulldoze, but we can give it dig. Um... I like work up. I think we probably get rid of headbutt because we have retaliate. <clears throat> and it's the same power. And wild charge is just really good coverage. I think we get rid of headbutt. Yeah. yeah. I think we're good. Does not have an immunity. Ghost, Psychic, Poison, I think that's the Steel type, so it's gotta be Sound, right? Yeah. No. Cats are trying to be sneaky. <clears throat> Alright, Veluza Love Disc. Mold breaker. Um, I actually want to Thunderfang the Love Disc, and we're gonna sucker punch the Veluza. Nope, it's using Filet Away. That works okay too. Though it could be. Oh no, that's Focus Energy. Interesting choice. Oh, that's definitely about to try to hit Cactus. Uh, mudslide, I guess. What would the loser go for? Aerial Ace is an option. It wouldn't go Aqua Cutter in the Cactus. What does this thing actually know? There it is. Apparently I forgot how to spell Veluza, even though I was looking right at it two seconds ago. Here we go, Veluza. Level 34, so Focus Energy slash Aqua Cutter Filet Away. Okay, so it's just got Aqua Cutter and Slash, both of which are okay to go into. Mudslide. Ooh, but it could be, could be Double Kick. I feel like it goes for the Toxahorn, Toxahorn though. We'll go Tender, that's a pretty good uh, middle ground. Thunderfang. Oh, kills. <laughs> Didn't even have to worry about the Veluza. I guess I really wasn't worried about the Veluza, though. Yeah, there's the double kick. See, I was wondering if it would go that. Uh, Raichu, Thunder Punch Slam, Discharge, Thunderbolt. So I feel like it goes for... Uh... T-Bolt here, and Nido King probably goes for Toxicorn. We're gonna switch into Mudslide. Discharge, okay, well, that only hits Seasoned, and Seasoned's gonna eat it just fine. We get our Psychic Fang off. Toxicorn was, was the good call. Uh, we're gonna Psychic Fang again. I feel like the right shoe goes for slam. And the Nido King's gonna do double kick again. My entire team is not great too. We're at like a fucking boot. <laughs> <laughs> He's struggling there, my guy. 
All right, let's switch Luna Town. Yeah, this is not a great situation. I didn't realize how weak my team was to fighting. Yeah, psychic things kill though, which is good. Toxic spikes. That's just rude, Emolga. What the heck does a Molga know? Oh shoot, it's got Encore, Spark, Acrobatics, and Charge. Okay, that's an interesting moveset to say the least. We're gonna Mega. Where you're not switching out. We're going to Crystallize the Emolga. I feel like we have to Mega to kill the Nido King, because it's a Nido King. Not with a crit! Crit would have killed anyway. That was just salt in the wound there. Ow. Crystallize. Dead. Perfect. Okay. And that's... That should be a wrap here, because we're going to double into it with Psychic Fangs. And Psychic. And... Ooh! Didn't kill. Oh, they got the second layer of Toxic Spikes, though. Alright. <laughs> Interesting choice. All right, and now it's the leader. <sighs> this is gonna take a minute. We gotta plan for this one pretty hard. I wanna get that TM though. And then we'll do the planning. Got it. Blaze kick. Don't know if anyone can learn it, but we have it. I forgot what it was. It looked like a fire type move, so I felt like it wouldn't change the strategy. What is rolling barrage is the real question. Ooh. Your camera up has evaporate. Which means hitting it with a water type move. I mean, it's still times three damage, right? It's just not times four. Powers up fire type moves if hit by a water type move. When hit by a water type move, instead of taking damage, that. Oh. Oh, that's gross. Uh, okay, glad I read that. Um, Hitmon, how did I kill this camera up last time? <laughs> the Crobat has a Blaziknight. Oh, and Camera has weakness policy? Oh, this is gross. Okay, let's, let's deal with one thing at a time. Let's deal with the Hitmon Leaf first. Buster Wolf knockoff. Double kick, rock slide, unburden with a focus sash. Uh oh. How do you deal with this hit Lee? Psychic would seem to be the play, but it's got a focus sash. Which means you need a two hit move to kill it. Um, yeah, yeah. The fact that his rock slide is also really gross because it's really hard to get the coverage you need. It's got both knockoff and rock slide and whatever Buster Wolf is. What's Buster Wolf? Yeah. Uh, I'm 
Control F. There we go. Buster Wolf. Fighting physical. Move has plus two priority. Okay. So it's plus two, so we can't outspeed it. It is a fighting type move. I don't think there's anything that resists all of that by itself. Um, it's a lot of moves. Uh, I just I don't think that this would be tanky enough. Though it would be pretty good. How do we get rid of this thing? I need something with flying coverage. Or psychic coverage. That isn't either of those types. Oh, wait. But you don't hit multiple times. You have scavenger, but you're part dark and will get absolutely destroyed. You're normal, that's not helpful. You're actually weak to two of its attacks and it can't miss. And with 70 speed. Hitmonlee's gonna outspeed that, right? I don't know, I don't know Hitmonlee's speed. I feel like it's like higher than base 70 though. Yeah, it's base 87, so there's no shot that Chicken Out runs it. Especially with a minus speed nature. It's only 77. Um, I'm tempted to bring Parasect and use Spore. And then whittle it down with something else, you know? Ghastly dies to, or Haunter, will die to a knockoff. You die to a rock slide. This is like really good coverage and it's, it's really hard to deal with. I think the only one that really works against it well is Lucario. But now it's weak to the fighting attacks, gosh dang it. Bruxish could work. And it has priority, but it has to survive a knockoff. Um, and this thing has 202 EVs in its attack, which is insane. And we have a defense lowering nature. Okay. We're gonna come back to the Monley. Eruption, Earth Power, Flamethrower, Ash Rain. Okay, so Camerupt has two fire type moves, one of which has to be dealt with kind of quickly. We can't hit it with water attacks. Which means what? We kind of need ground type moves would be best, but it's got a weakness policy, which is also really scary. Are those its only weaknesses? Is ground and water? 
Ugh. I like how you, you talk about all these other abilities that are broken, and that one might be the most broken. <laughs> Neutralizing an entire type, and then also gaining something from it, especially one that you're weak to, is insane. Sandy gas, maybe? If if we could get Ursa Luna Earthquake, that'd be amazing. Can I get Ur I can't get Ursa Luna yet, right? I find a peat block. It's on Route 13 that I can't get to yet. Mudsdale might work. And I have ground date. I just thought about that. Oh, and I get earthquake at 40. Might have just found the solution here. Hitmonlee has to attack us. That might be our out. Do you get any priority though? If I could break that focus sash, that'd be... Where do I get the, uh, the Rocky helmet? Hey, Rhyme. Oh, it's got a bunch of stuff. What's well, TM36 again? Is that what I picked up in... Oh, 63. Yeah, Drain Punch. So I already picked that one up. So I can't get Rocky Helmet yet. Which is unfortunate. Because that does slightly ruin my plans. Alright, so I think we actually bring Mudsdale. Yeah, but if I was gonna get Prickly Needles, I would just use Spiky Shield and then switch. Because the plan... The plan was to let the Hitmonlee hit... Mudsdale? And then have clicked counter because it has to hit Mudsdale. It has no option but to attack. And Mudsdale's defense is high enough that it should be able to take a hit.
and then we just um, counter and kill it. But it's got that focus sash. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Because I think Mudsdale's our best answer to the camera up. Um, I think. The Crobat with Acrobatics is odd, especially because it has a Blazikenite, so it can't actually drop it, but if we knock it off, then Acrobatics gets a little scary. The Howlucha with Acrobatics is significantly more annoying. Um, and then obviously Persian with Normal Gem Technician. Fake out. Um, and a Gliscor also with that, okay. So, I actually kind of like Steak here. Steak with Aqua Jet for um, the Gliscor. I think that would hit pretty dang hard. It does have an Iron Ball and Fling, which is scary. But maybe we could also teach it Dive. Oh, it was wearing an Everstone, so I didn't have to keep mashing buttons. Uh... Because I wanted... what again? Oh, I want a liquidation. I was gonna save it for the next gym. Because Carvana gets liquidation at 40, which is one level over the next gym cap, and Sharpedo gets it at 46, which is too high. So I was it's the plan was to keep it a Carvana until it could learn liquidation. I have enough candies for that actually. Hmm. This Hitmonlee is really screwing me up. Um. It does not, because the Hitmonlee has Rock Slide. It could try, but I feel like it would die. Yeah, it's that rock slide that's really screwing me up. Rock slide plus knockoff is just really, really good coverage. And we're gonna take a hit because it has focus sash. Yeah, that would work. I just, I don't have a sand stream or snow warning. Both of which, by the way, are typically on Pokemon that, uh, or rock or ground type or steel. Typically rock or rock types, sorry, for sand stream. And that's weak to fighting. And ice is weak also to fighting. Yeah, I mean, that, that's my issue right now. Is, is trying to piece together the best option. Houndstone could work. I also don't have a lot of ghost types. Uh... 
It's also important to note that three of his other mons are immune to spikes. And I would really like to set up uh, stealth rocks. But I don't see that happening. How would Zoroa help, though? Because it, it's going to take less damage for one hit. Um, but it's going to break it because I can't avoid... And, it, like, I could take a knockoff. I could have, a, have it copy a Psychic type and take a knockoff. And click Aerial Ace, I guess? I guess... And, and try to do enough damage that way. This thing actually doesn't learn a whole lot of moves. The other, oh well I guess it's a mixed attacker. Zoroark is a mixed attacker. So it could work, but it's, it's I mean, you can see it's more of a special attacker. This one is, because 21 and 20, or 21 and 11. Um, taunting does nothing to it. Zoroark does get U-turn. And will be faster. So maybe the play is Aerial Ace, see how much damage it does. If it doesn't do enough, use U-Turn to get out of there. But I have to go remember U-Turn. And I could always use U-Turn to get out of there, but then I don't know what the camera up's gonna do. Or the Halucha, it's gonna be the Halucha that switches in, right? And then the Halucha should go for superpower. Okay. Which I can switch a ghost type into. Except the only ghost type I have are it's ghastly and shove it. Who is Willow Wisp? So maybe we do Shup it in the back, Mudsdale, we bring in Zorwa. This is the point where I'm running into issues though, because of um, Eevees. The, the other trainers have Eevees, so if we just level Zorwa with candies, we are now at a massive disadvantage. <clears throat> And when I say they have EVs, I don't mean they have, like, distributed EVs. I mean, the Hitmonlee has 202 in attack. Which means, like, it's gonna hit like a truck. Even taking the knockoff, I feel like Zoroark's gonna take insane amounts of damage. That's assuming that this AI doesn't screw me over and go for Rock Slide and make me flinch. Hitmonlee, Camerupt, Crobat. Crobat can be dealt with by Lunatone, actually. Well, except it is Crunch. You can try to deal with it with Lunatone, because apparently Mudslide is doing not great. Um, both times we've thrown it in, it's about died. The Halucha is definitely my, like, biggest fear. The Persian's annoying, but we can get around it. 
This one does have Thief. So we can't just wall it with a ghost type, but what we can do is burn the fake out and then switch to probably stuffing, honestly. Switch to stuffing, eat the thief, and we just won't have an item because it's pointless to have an item on stuffing anyway. Um, and probably parting shots. The Gliscor's kind of scary, especially with acrobatics and fling. Fling's a dark type move, but is really powerful. I think this might be the might be it. This might be the team. Not loving mudslide, honestly. Um, I feel like it just doesn't uh, doesn't contribute a whole lot. Because everything has coverage for it. Um, like everything has coverage for this. Um, except for the crowbat, I guess. And that camera up's really, really scary. It's got eruption. And if it clicks that, something's probably dying. Maybe we bring Tender instead of Mudslide. I just hope Tender's defense is high enough. Um, yeah, it's very attack heavy. All right. Uh, like I said, I don't love having to go in there with no EVs on a Pokemon. Um, but I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me EV grind. Knockoff could actually be really good. I would say in place of Taunt. Taunt's good. Where would we use Taunt though? I think we actually get rid of home claws. The problem is, like, eh. I think we can reteach taunt, right? It's a TM. I don't know if home claws is. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep feeding away. Uh, we don't care about fake tears. <clears throat> we're we're pretty quick, and we have priority. So, all right, here's this. Um. I actually think Home Claws goes here. Knockoff is really good against um, gym fights, and we need Aerial Ace for coverage, so. No, I don't want agility. Pretty sure that was the right call. Hang on. What do you mean cap to capped like levels? <clears throat> Alright. Strength is okay. We want counter. High horsepower is good. Earthquake's just better. Now you may evolve.
Yeah, like in a in a normal game, it's not bad to um be missing out on EVs. Like you you can make it, but when they actually have when the gym leaders have EVs, it makes it so hard to work with. Very nice shade. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, that would be good. Would it be a total cap? Uh, or would it just be like a cap per stat, depending on where you're at? <clears throat> Excuse me. Cap per stat, okay. I don't want to have to use it. Shadow Ball. So here's the problem. We have Will-O-Wisp. But it's good. We get rid of Curse. We don't want Embargo. Oh crap. This thing didn't evolve. What level does Shuppet evolve? Thirty-eight. Okay. 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 Well, so I think it normally evolves at like level forty or something like that. So I was worried that you just left it there. <clears throat> However, we weren't really gonna use it. We were just gonna use it as like switch stuff. Right, to eat the uh, eat the Persian fake out and then switch it into stuffing to eat the thief that would come. And we're... I, I actually don't think we really need it that high. Oh, whoops. Um, what we do need is you to have the ground plate. Ground gem could work. Yeah, no, give you a ground gem. Heck yeah. And you... I don't think garnish... Just out of thought. I have the team for thief, right? Um, you didn't change Hitmonlee's stats, right? And you didn't change Zoroark's. Neutral, you have illusion. Uh, aerial ace, right? That's what you have. I would much rather air cutter. Yeah, so aerial ace doesn't kill. Um, so we're going to have to use two. Um, meanwhile, this thing, it has random IVs, right? Uh, 
Uh, knockoff does no damage. So we can Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace. Oh, shoot. It's got that priority move. Crap. And it's really freaking strong, too. Oh, it's 60 power. I thought it was higher than that. Yeah, but it still kills us. I mean, just, just flat out kills us. Unless we give it a Choppleberry. No, it's going to lose the Choppleberry because it's going to get hit with knockoff. Maybe we have to bait it into firing something else? Fire Rock Slide, maybe? Firing off Rock Slide. Oh, that does so much damage. Oh, and that's also assuming that we're, we have a good health IV, which we don't. And a good defense IV, which we, again, ah, okay, it's respectable. So, yeah, it would see the kill with Karate Chop, or the Buster Wolf. What's its other move again? Double Kick. Which means what? Do I even have a Choppleberry? Oh, jeez. We'd have to dodge a crit. Probably clicks. What a double kick. Hey, soldier. Trying to plan out something here, and it's not going super well. After an aerial ace, we wouldn't need much to kill. Only like 20, well, it could be up to 30%. Oh, man. And that's assuming that we use knockoff, we get hit with knockoff. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have the chapel berry on. If, oh. Your speed. Oh, you're actually faster. The play might actually be Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl eats a rock slide, maybe. Um, I don't think I have anything fancy here. Flying gem boosted wing attack. Um, oh, whoops. Docile nature, so that's neutral. Damn. That attack ivy's really kind of screwing us over. Thankfully, I was able to get it some X, some, some EVs. Wing attack, oh, wing attack just straight up kills. Except for the item. 
So we have to get rid of the item. But we can't. So we're going to take a rock slide for 68%. Oh. And that's before we adjust for for Ivy's yeah, defense of eight, which is hot garbage. Um, Yeah, that's going to remove Aerodactyl for the rest of the fight, pretty much. Um, how the heck did we beat this last time? Not without sacrifices, I remember that. Did I even figure out a way to deal with the Halucha? Uh, Luna, that's a great plan. Okay. Um, because Halucha. I I think we go. We don't have a great plan, but I, I think it's all we got. Because sitting here working on it isn't getting us anywhere. Um, um, you know who would be really good here? If we had another fairy type, we could actually do something, but we don't. Our only other fairy type is this thing. Hmm. Yeah. This would actually be really good against that Hitmonlee, because it can't do a whole lot to it. Two of its coverage moves are actually its its main stab move and one of the coverage moves is bad, so it would have to use Rock Slide. And we could use like Play Rough. If only. I didn't realize this thing was Steel Dark, I thought it was just Steel. And obviously, Gyarados would be really good here, too. Alright. Mm -hmm. It's better to have Gengar. you drain punch over revenge actually over strength that's also stab yeah well 
do it over brutal swing. Yeah, we can't hit ghost types, but we'll teach it something here in a little bit. Come on. Oh, that's right. It's like... There it is. Alright, just in case something breaks. Test. We're good. Oh, I don't feel good about this. Interesting. Why would you go for rock slide over knockoff? The flinch thing again? We didn't go for the priority move. It went for rock slide. That was huge. Okay, this thing's going for superpower, right? It's gotta go for superpower here. Whoa, special attack down. Ah! It's a random move. If it goes for acrobatics, screw me, I guess. Okay. Oh, that's super effective. All right, at least the defense fell. Why is it so f why is how lucha so fast oh this is not good crowbat what does crowbat go for here hang on What is its base speed? 118, holy crap, that's fast. Yeah, it outsped me because of EVs, I guess. Because we're technically faster. Oh, that was also his ace. Yeah, no, definitely. 162. Uh, I don't know what this thing goes for here. I'm gonna rock slide. I know it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know it does that. Oh, come on! <sighs> I think that mattered. That might be a wipe. I don't know if I have anything else to deal with this thing. All right. It's gonna be a wipe. Love this gym. Amazing. What?
Fuck me. Yep, there it is. Kill me already. I want to be out of here. Taking a break for a minute.
All right, everyone, we're back. Yep, we're back. All right. So what did we learn from that? We're EV grinding. Might not necessarily be EV training, but until we get decent EVs on things, I don't think we're using those candies. Uh, which means I'll be doing some stuff off con- what is- what is this? Okay, couldn't have used it anyway, it's a mythical. Good to know though. Alright. Yeah, we're good. We know things. Man, I would have loved to have a whooper. Oh, can I get an updated, uh... Updated encounter thing? We were boys, we were a girl this time. That's assuming Rhyme is still here and not crying like I am on the inside. Can I turn this off later? I don't remember. Dis disabled or enabled at any time, yeah. Yeah. It'll be quicker. Yeah, we want the Nuzlocke rules. Still excluding statics. Cool. No randomizer. No model type. Absolutely not. Don't want that. No limit to party size. No, I've never wanted to do that. We don't want snag balls. Start a no poke center challenge. No. no shopping challenge, no. No. If you exclude shiny Pokemon and then also um tell it to not or tell it that you want all enca wild encounters to be shiny to, does it let you catch everything? talking to myself normally I don't care but talk to myself all day because sometimes I'm the only one that listens listens but right now I want to know if Ryan's still around so I can ask him questions um being very helpful right now. I, I gotta say that mobile Twitch is pretty bad. Oh, hey, you're back. You are here. Um, cool. I'll patch it later. We don't need it right now. Um, Oh, karma. I remember us talking in depth about the karma system, and I have forgotten most of it. If we steal things, does that lock us out of certain choices later? We're 
Or does it just give us more choices? Okay. <laughs> you lose nothing except for money when you can't, uh, can't manage to steal things. So maybe the, uh, maybe the trick is to wait until we get, uh, Iron Cave and are able to farm infinite money that way. And then we try to steal everything. But I feel like we'll lose out on some stuff. Maybe we just wait until we buy a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We buy a bunch of Pokeballs so that we're poor. And then we try to steal stuff. So that when we fail, we're not really penalized. I could take her Pokedex. I'm not going to take her Pokedex because that just seems mean. Also, I don't want to lose what money I have because we need it to buy Pokeballs. So. It's already night, which is good because we're going to use that to uh, get a hoot hoot, hopefully, on this route down here. <laughs> I forgot I moved my clock forward and it says it's midnight right now and I was like, uh. Alright, we get you. Honestly though, has this thing been helpful? I don't think we've used it in a single gym battle. Total stat cap is that times four. Okay, that makes sense. I was actually gonna ask about that. How how you were gonna do that. That's that's a good way to do it. Raise your health, defense, main attack, main defense, main attack, and speed. I like it. By the way, distributing your EVs like that would be a horrible idea. Don't do that. <laughs> don't don't do that. I'm not gonna do that. No no one should do that. So here's where I'm at, right? We're always lacking water types. Always always lacking water types we are always lacking grass types and I don't think we used this thing once in a gym battle except for the first one electric fire is a really good typing but it's very hard to work with because of the fact that electric is good against two things one of them is water, which fire is bad against. Maybe I just haven't been using it enough. Maybe that's why we keep having so many issues. And fire's a really good typing. Yeah, we'll just keep going with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need a nickname convention. I don't even know what, what all nickname convention we've done at this point. You were the one that suggested cheese last time. I made it easier by generalizing it to food.
Um, see, I feel like that's that's not correct because I'm the one that's like, hey, here's a cool ability idea, and you're like. Um, that's true, yeah, you, you managed to make it work, which I'm very impressed by. And also very saddened by when I get hit by it, and I'm like, ooh. It's a an awkward feeling, feeling both pride and fear. Um, you know what? We're just gonna give them like relevant names to what they are, but like like people names, right? And and punny if we can make them that way. That's what we're gonna do. So this thing is a bird, right? Like like that's right? It's a raptor, isn't but I don't even remember the full Evo name. What's the full Evo name, right? Something Raptor. Flare. Oh, I see. Flare after. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm just going with it. Okay. So we're going to make it a punny name. It's like Bradley, but, but birdly because it's a bird. That's right. You're going to have to put up with this. After getting flinched lock in the third gym and getting absolutely hammered by that uh, fourth one, you you now have to put up with my horrible, horrible puns. You did this to yourself. I forgot all about this tree. I don't know if I ever cut it down and got that item. Let's go catch some Pokemon. Thanks. I'm honestly not sure what I would like. Though a Guts Rattata would be nice. Pick up Zigzagoon would be good. Technician Meowth would be good. We'll find out. Zigzagoon. Vigilant Furret. I don't think that's an option right now. I don't know what this thing can have, but it doesn't have Runaway. That did not do as much as I thought it would. Fish. That sucks! That's not great. Um, I don't think this game is unforgiving enough to reset, but having Impish on a special attacker is not good. So I guess we're building it as a physical attacker. Um, I 
Zigzackery. Um, hang on, I'm, I'm trying. The... Oh, you had a potion. I guess you have pickup. That's... That's good. That's... Oh, you have quick feet. Gross. That's not great. I guess we could... Poison it? Yeah, that's not good. Anyway, uh, this one... Sorry. So currently, yeah, Birdly here is a physical attacker, but it will become a special attacker after it evolves once, and then when it evolves twice. Okay, so we're sub 100 on the special attack. Yeah, I mean, it can do it. What's its physical attack? Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, so it would only be a mix... It would actually is a mixed attacker if we get adamant. Yeah, we're going to have to use it the special attack. Yeah. I'm not even worried about changing nature. Like, being like, oh yeah, we can change nature. Woo! Because... It's... So far ahead of us. Where am I trying to go, guys? Oh, right. We need our attacker. Our, our attacker. We need our encounter, is what I tried to say there, and uh, screwed up horribly, so... I also like how you block this bookshelf, so we can't steal from it, because it wouldn't make sense to get caught in here. Yeah, so I know Hoot Hoot's the best encounter here, right? We've learned this a few times. So we'll get our Hoot Hoot encounter. There we go. Hopefully. Good. It is level 2, though. I think we just chuck a ball. We can work with that, actually. Good. We're not gonna hit again, because it's definitely in crit range. It was probably in crit range the first time, honestly. Oh wait, crits are 1.5, not times two. I think it would've survived a crit. Not by much, but I think it would've. All right, so Birdly gets experience. We get our Owl, which is good. Yes, um... Oh, jeez. Knocked Allen. Allen. Knocked Allen. Okay, there we go. Um, these are our three that we're gonna have for... The, uh, the rival fight. Because we delay our, like, hope encounter. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You're not wrong. Because... Shellos. Um, especially because you said you changed something about it. You changed stuff about... The East versus West Shellos, so could be pretty good um, having it having it around. I think we're in crit range. Um, so yeah, we'll just go for a Shellos, um, like we have been. I specifically turned it two times when it gave, like, 
the highest chance to get a shell loss, and we still never got a shell loss. Like, ludicrous. We actually even wouldn't even see them that often. Like, it was a 25 or 30% chance to see a shell loss. And we found very few of them. Ugh, got something in my eye. I don't like that we got hit with Tail Whip. I thought it was 25 during the day or morning, something like that. I don't know. Scratch. There we go. It's, um... That was a G. We got 17 shell loss round. Seven shell loss, apparently. Uh, looks like you are correct. It's a 20% chance at all times to get a shell loss. Oh, but during the morning, it reduces the chance for other things. Oh, maybe I should have just named it Alan. Knocked Alan. But I but I like I like the punnage. Yeah. Yeah, I'll decide in a minute. Pidgey. Peck. There we go. Does Hoot Hoot normally get peck at level whatever? Low? One, I imagine? I don't like that. Okay, just, just curious, because like normally, right, it would get... I thought it would normally get like, uh, ooh, this thing's fast enough. No, Pidgey normally just... Play around that crit range. I was hoping it would not. Yeah. Um. Uh. Gust from nine to six. Had a peck at nine. That eh, makes sense. Except isn't Pidgey more of a special attacker? So Gust is actually better than Peck. Oh, it's raining. Yay. Yeah, no, it didn't learn Peck because um, Spiro learned Peck. It was one... Oh, really? Okay. Fair enough. Maybe I'm thinking Pidgeot? Or, sorry... Pidget, if you go by the official pronunciation. Was that a rain encounter? I don't remember ever seeing a low tad here before. Okay. Huh. Cool. Low tad. Is it, uh, okay, I was like, is it only low Ted? Also, point of note, um, having... That's neat. It's adorable. Um, anyway, having rain encounters be a thing makes the water monkey more valuable because it gets uh, rain dance pretty early what just happened
you're a psychopath if you said Pidgeot as Pidget. In in no context does E O T G E O T say jit. Now if you said jot Okay. Okay. But jit? With an I? In what connotation does G E O T say jit? Gonna give Rhyme a minute to come up with a really obscure word. I don't even remember what the level is here for this rival threat fight. Um, it's been so long. It used to be eight. I feel like you lowered it. You did. Seven. This Meryl is very confused about how this fight is supposed to go. Alright, let's get up to seven. Come on. I was honestly really excited for the pickup Zigzagoon. Little sad that Zach, uh, Zigzackery. Um, doesn't know how to pick pick up little things as a trash panda. Just occurred to me that Zigzagoon is a raccoon Pokemon. Does it have opposable thumbs? Dish. Yeah, Obstagoon does. But does, uh. But does Zigzagoon? Because it's a raccoon, so it should technically have opposable thumbs. Ow. Alright, Birdly leveled up to 8. Meh. There's only so much you can do. And right now we kind of just need speed. Uh... Okay, so I think like three fights with Zigzagoon and then a few fights with Hutu. They both should level. There we go. Oh, I didn't even check anything about Hutu. Quirky, so that's neutral. Insomnia! I would actually say that that's probably better for us than No Guard. Because all of our moves were 100% accurate last time. We didn't get to the point where Hurricane was a thing. So it's like... It's great that that would be useful later. But... Being able to or guaranteeing that you always get hit. Right, Hypnosis would be great later. We didn't even get to Hypnosis. I don't remember what level it gets Hypnosis. So, like, that would have been great, but by that point, I feel like we'll have an ability disc, and if we really want to, we can change it then. The other issue is that Noctowl isn't fast. So, like, you know, Hypnosis, No Guard Hypnosis seems really good, but when you're gonna get punched in the face first, um, it, it loses some of its benefit. Oh, yeah, no, 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 it's, it's tanky. But, like, against that Hitmonlee, for example, uh, getting hit by Rock Slide would probably still kill it. Now, it might just leave it on very low health, 
but then what do you do? Do you leave it in and just pray that the thing doesn't wake up? Do you try to switch and risk it waking up on whatever you switched in? There we go. Hornberries. This is the other thing that I need to do. I need to plant more berries. Um, because, like, we, we were running out of ordinaries last time. Alright. Yeah, Rossberry. On a rock for some reason. Hoot hoot. Yeah, we don't need the this fight, so... All right. What, uh, what changes about the gym? Oh, oh, no, 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 it's the Eevee thing. Never mind, I'm following. I was like, something changed in the gym? Oh, he gives feathers. Interesting. So wait. Does that actually mean that, cause this, hang on, hold up. This might be really cool. Does that mean that Eevees, like wild Eevees are locked too? Or do the items just not function? That's cool. Okay, I I'm I'm a admit that's pretty awesome. Because if they weren't locked, you best believe as soon as we had access to Honey Fields this time, I was going to just take the population of Stuffle and Teddy Ursa from plentiful to endangered and have max attack IVs, EVs on all of our physical attackers. And that might only partially be to spite the third gym leader who I still hate. Like, like right now, my hit list only has two names on it and it's the third gym leader and the fourth gym leader in that order. Um, yeah, my entire goal is to hit the third gym leader hard enough that not only her Pokemon, but whatever her Pokemon, like the descendants of her Pokemon, all of them turn into rock. That's my plan right now. Bonus points if I can do it with an Aerodactyl. For just insult to injury. Ooh. You know what would actually be really good here is an inner focus mon. You know, something that can't flinch. That would be really good here. That would be great. What you gonna do? So I actually feel like maybe we lead Birdly, because Birdly does not fight the um the pog frog it's not a pog frog frogger whatever it is froggy Fro froggy frog what is its name i appreciate that especially after last time when i mashed and i was like wait what <laughs> Alright, yeah, so it doesn't matter what we click here, right? We're just how. Eh, eh. That did not do as much as I thought it would. Oh, that's cool, we get cash.
I mean, that makes sense. Um, I feel like newer players are going to be like, what? Uh, 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 and then they're going to see it. Like, they're not going to be trying to mash through it, you know? Fire spin. Yeah, we'll take fire spin. Over growl. But no, no, I, I agree with you. It's a, it's a good way to do it. Oh, what is this thing's name? Froggers. That's what it is. Froggers. Um, so we're going to check here because it's a bubble, right? Special defense. Special defense. So the vendor next to the entrance of Flora Town has an updated event. Huh? A little confused what you mean by lead, but yeah, I'll... Hey King, how's it going? It's been a minute. There it is. Got him. Nice. I'm glad things are going well for you. We wiped again. So. We're going to have to. Uh, we got we to go through here. Something back home. See ya. Uh, so. Are you talking about this guy, by the way? Or, or, oh no, you said vendor, this guy right here. Sorry. Um, so we, we're stepping back from Colosseum because every time I saw the home screen, I instantly started getting mad. Um, I, I know people have done Colosseum, Grand Colosseum. I know that people have successfully Nuzlocked Grand Colosseum I'm not there yet. Dicey dude. Oh, I've seen that. Um, anyway, yeah, so we're we're not gonna be continuing Grand Coliseum for a little bit. Um, and instead, on Tuesdays, Rhyme, the psychopath that made this game, and I are doing a soul link in uh, Ruby Sapphire. Uh, that has been wild. Um, and then on Thursday, Friday, I'm going to be doing light until it's done, which I, yeah, uh, kind of hoped would be sooner than later. But it seems like it's we're going to be here a little longer. We buy all kinds of items. Yeah, okay, cool. Make sure to stop by one whenever you need something. Thanks. Oh, that—that that was it. Neat. Um, you know, that's fair, actually. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to buy a couple nest balls. Um, except that we're not catching anything right now. So. Hey, you. These are mine now. Well, we're being evil this run and seeing what that gains us. No. Mm, well, yes, hang on. No, I'm glad that there was not a Bonsley because I have not healed. I knew I was forgetting something. Hey, Cora, we're going to talk 
Every time we see Korra, we immediately talk to her now, because I forgot to last time. And, uh, it kind of bit me in the butt. Not that it would have helped a whole lot against that gym leader, but a toga kiss would have been nice. <laughs> Saving the bookshelves. <gasps> no shot! This early?! Oh, this is going to be a minute. <sighs> that was a crit! Ooh, that's not great. I'm actually kind of hoping to burn here. Because while it does put me on a timer, it's also just nice to have for the status effect. Eh. Lower our special attack. I don't know, special defense. True. True. We'll try a chair spell. One, two, three. Gotcha. We have to let it learn mimic. I remember this now. I only made that mistake once, but it will scar me forever. Uh... Woodruff. Now we're gonna spell it obnoxiously. Woodruff. Nice. All right. What does that mean? Oh, the reference to Yes Town. Yeah. All right. That was pretty worth it, honestly. They always end up in the couch cracks. What is this a reference to something that I just don't understand? Or have I asked that before? It is, okay. I mean I, I figured you wouldn't randomly come up with that. Seems a little bit too uh drug induced to randomly come up with that. I really wish oh I forgot about that whoa doesn't it have like a point five like it's below a pokeball on anything that's not an ultra beast right That was the model for the, yeah, for the Super Rod. Yep. What was in here? I kind of want to re Yeah. No, like, my luck is horrible. You've seen my flinch chances. Come on, man. You know I'm not going to get crap from that. Wait, what was that TM? Focus energy. <laughs> My brain, like, did not compute it. I mashed through it and went, wait, what? Water. 
I want the pan pour to bait the um, the water encounters, the the rain encounters. Um, oh, what do I name this thing? Walter. Like water, but with an L. I'm clever. Take pin missile. I don't think I ever taught anything pin missile. Oh, yeah, hey. It's flying cut. You don't need those to progress. And we have cut. I actually forgot that that's what he did. Um, just talk to him. I already did that house. Pretty sure. I don't think there's anything else under any of these. I just don't remember. We'll buy some potions and some Pokeballs. And then be broke once more. Alright, I believe that these, they don't give you anything. Actually, oh. yeah. Now we go try to steal stuff. Can I just keep retrying? Nope. Just curious. So I can keep retrying on that one guy's house, but not other places. All right, what are what are the odds of stealing? By the way, Uh-huh. 70% to get caught? Is this one just impossible? Like, you get one shot and then it just keeps re-rolling the same thing but lets you waste all your money? Wait, yeah, what? Yeah, it's impossible? Everything we've got what one success out of four attempts now plus however many that thing was but who knows if that might have been bugged Man. 
So, fun fact, I, uh, I, I practically won the lottery uh, last time because I got, uh, what, what was it, Ryan, like five flinches in a row? I didn't, I got flinched, I guess. So, yeah. I, I can get that 10% chance, but I can't get a 30% chance. Assuming that it is 30% to succeed and 70 to get caught. You have no idea how fast I am. Alright. I don't know if I've tried all the bookshelves at this point or not. I'm getting better. Does it actually raise your your steal rate if you steal stuff? Or do you just get to steal better things? Yeah. I I feel like this one would make sense if it's actually impossible cuz there's a police dude right here. Uh, question was, does stealing, right, does stealing books increase the chance of you being able to steal books? Or steal stuff? Um, or does it just, in, like, I don't know, does it scale up what you can steal? If that makes sense. Is unaffected. Okay, yes. That was essentially the question. I, I, f I think I've been through all of all of these. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought it was. With more karma being... Lower karma. Right? Right, because you said that... Low karma more bad karma, however you want to look at that. Gives you more options, but it doesn't take any away. Oh. Alright, let's go back to Light Town. Woodruff is like one of my highest levels. Oh... Attack up, speed down. That's actually not horrible, not great. Special attack up, speed down. That's bad. I mean, the speed down isn't, but the, the special attack up is. Um. Oh. It's like I was gonna do something. Yeah, I was gonna see who could learn cut. Not you, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, so let's teach it to Zachary real quick. Over, I would say growl. Well, let's teach it to you. Over scratch. Six a goon can learn pit missile. It's not bad actually. Is it? Mm. So it's better than sand attack. We can use it on the um, on the execute. Actually, is light weak to bug? It is, right? Good shot. Um, gotta look at that table. Light 
Light is indeed weak to bug. Which means... Zachary using Pin Missile against the Shinx might be the best thing we have. Alright. Quick attack. Very scary. Tail whip. Not scary. Oh, there's one more encounter we can get, right? I almost forgot about it. First, we're coming all the way back up here. Oh, you're right, and we're cutting this tree, because I just remembered that I can do that. Getting this. Oh, it's a protein. Ow. Yeah, that was my toe. Uh, we're gonna come this way. There's nothing to steal in here, right? Right? Because it's all like... Yeah. But in Korra's house... And in the lab, we can steal things. So we'll try that. Yeah, that dude turned around right then. I, you know, I, I doubt that changes anything. Oh, it's just one for the entire lab. I see. Oh, no, no, no. Just counts that all as one bookshelf. I get it. I get it. Nope, yep. I already have a Pokedex. Right. <laughs> Apparently I had accidentally clicked his Oh no, when you leave that, does it auto-throw your Pokemon out like that? Again, blocked that. Does this affect anything with Korra? <laughs> okay. Just making sure she wasn't gonna be like, you took my Pokedex! I didn't even get the option. What? That was weird. Ah, also has the check for outbreaks, the, the two Abras here. Oh, or what was different? All right. Well, we can go this way now. Jump. I don't remember talking to you. Okay. Also, Fedora. That's that's our true power. Uh, that's that's the real reason we wiped was just to get the Fedora back. Mm hmm. Yep. 100%. Fedora gaming. Fedora routing. Alright, let's... Uh... It was also for Shellos, but we get the Shellos through the power of the Fedora. Yeah, so... I was actually looking at my layout, um, and I'm trying to figure out the best place to put an attempt counter, because, like, we kind of take up most of the screen. I could put it down... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up the Pokeballs down there, because we don't use that for this specifically. I don't know what I'm going to do for any other one. Maybe I'll just put it at the top of chat. Yeah, and have, like, Attempt Counter down there and Death Counter. I like that. Yeah. I'll figure it out later. Yep, 
in in small. Okay, so we actually want this, uh, which is not something I ever thought I would say about a male combi. But this is good, which is also something I never thought I would say about a male combi. Um, Vespiquin, or a, a female probably would have been better, but it doesn't matter because we don't want it for the Vespiquin. Um, Peter! Like, like Peter, but, but with a B. So what we actually want it for is the fact that it only gets one ability, and it it doesn't have honey gather. This is literally the worst combi ever. I wanted one thing from it, and it was honey gather. I got a male non honey gather combi. <sighs> okay. Unnerve isn't even that good of an ability. Why is Vespaquin's hidden ability unnerve and not intimidate? <sighs> I was gonna use this thing to get so many more encounters, and now I have never been more ashamed of throwing a Pokeball in my life. That's actually worse than the male sal what salandit. <sighs> Jeez. <sighs> Sweet scent doesn't work on honey trees, I imagine. Oh, okay, I was like, thought it, I thought it worked. So now, because we also have the EV thing, um, I will actually be a level 10. Okay. Also, we're at a point where um, they don't matter. EVs. Ooh, Covet's good. I remember this situation last time, and I I totally inted on what I was supposed to do with it. Um, with, with Covet. And was just a, a big dummy head. So we're going to try to be better about it this time. Uh, I think we get rid of Tackle, right? Oh, and I realized that we want to keep Hoot Hoot... We want to keep knock, knock Talon. It's gonna be really hard for me to say. Um, yeah, hold up. I'm just renaming it Alan. Um, a hoot hoot for a little while longer than normal, so that we can get Dark Pulse, which is better than. Night Slash. I'm, I'm, I'm renaming this thing Alan. 
We'll know it's like a pun on knocked Alan, right? That's not how you spell Alan. There we go. But I just... The name knocked Alan is... Alright, so what we actually want to do here... I... Thundershock Dazzle. Yeah, so we don't want Alan in. We... We'll use Birdly. And we don't want to give him an item. We we'll give you... What? Oh, I hit used, didn't I? So why can't I go to the, the berries? Yeah, we have six books. There we go. This is just in case we have to use everyone, but I don't plan on using everyone. So, yeah, this this plane is a little bit smarter than the last time. So there's an Execute, and a Shanks. How fast is... because this is also relevant. How fast are you? I feel like you're pretty dang fast. Okay, so it's good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we actually did want Zigzag uh, to be faster than uh, Birdly. So what Zachary is going to do... Is use Covet without an item. And I feel like it's gonna be faster than the Shanks. I f it's definitely gonna be faster than the Execute. Right? Oh, Intimidate's annoying. I forgot about Intimidate. That's okay. We can work with that. So we're gonna Covet. And we're going to Ember. Because Covet is gonna deal little damage, but it's gonna steal the Citrus Berry. So this thing can't cheese us with uh, Harvest. That crit actually scared me. Alright, so we're good there. So we're actually gonna pin missile and ember. That was easy. Yeah. Nice. Leveled. Oh, and Beater is also leveling. Pin missile. I don't actually have a good. S oh, Woodruff. Woodruff is fine. Yeah, super effective. Let's go. Zachary is not taking prisoners during this fight. Jeez. Cut. Uh, rock throw, I guess. Doesn't matter. Dead. Alright, so uh, I think we have a new MVP, and hopefully Zachary never dies. Uh, yeah, we're definitely taking Flame Wheel over Fire Spin. Alright, um, solid. <sighs> I'm still mad about this freaking combi. Caught for one purpose, can't even do that. And we're stuck with it. Unless, did you, Rhyme, did you put in more honey places? Did you put in more honey before the first gym? Apparently Route 9 is covered in this stuff. Oh, that makes sense, actually. No. Not saying that it doesn't exist, but I'm not seeing it on the hidden items list. The first honey that I'm seeing is honey fields. Route 9 has a ton of it. But it's also not before the first gym, so. Alright, so she sells fertilizer. Ah! Alright, um, I don't remember what's on this route. Route 2, right? 
Oh, okay, so options are Baniri Caterpie Sandshrew during the day, Badu Baniri Tailo during the morning, Ekin C. Dot Tandem Mouse during the night. Uh, I think the morning is the best option there. By far. So we're going to switch that over. Uh, morning includes seven, right? Ooh, a fastball. That I think it's morning now. There it is. There was the there was the shift I was looking for. Alright, and we run this way. Grab this. Antidote. Solid. Grab the gimme ghoul coins. Don't get stopped somewhere. Um I'm sorry, did I read that right? Okay, tandem mouse isn't bad. I think we actually have a really Good thing here. Hang on. Ah, oh, we resist that. Perfect. We're going to use Struggle Bug. That did more than I thought it would. That requires us to get Technician. And as evident by, okay, as evidenced by Beater here, um, we only get good things when they're not good. Oh, that's actually impressive. Woodruff. A couple Pokemon. I don't even remember how this thing evolves. Level 25. Oh, okay. That was fair. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're gonna name it, uh... Uh, we're gonna name it Tanner. The reason for that is if anyone hasn't seen Full House, they're the Tanner family. Uh, yeah, that's that's my reasoning. I was gonna name it Tom and Jerry, but uh, you know it makes sense that you wouldn't have seen Full House considering it was like older and um, pick up. That's not a bad ability though. Yeah, it, it's very popular here in the States. I imagine that's a good nature, too. And those IVs are good. Not great, but they're good. Oh, no, 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 don't get me wrong, like, 31 attack? Fantastic. Top tier, obviously. The 2 in Spadef, eh, we can survive without it. 24 speed, respectable. 6 HP? Not great. True, it was never gonna be tanky. Anyway. 
Ooh. Just smack an assault vest on it, it'll be fine. Speaking of, when, when do I get that? I would really like an assault vest. Freaking hustle on a gun. That's why that attack did so much damage. I forgot it had hustle. Why does it only get bite as an egg move? Every other mouse-like Pokemon gets bite. Whatever. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh, we lose pickup for cheek pouch, huh? Huh. Alright, well, yeah, we, we still take that. Does get Super Fang really early. Double hit, that's pretty... It gets... It gets Bullet Seed, but not Bite. What? Gets Encore at 22. That's super good. Play rough at 27. Hyper voice is okay. Oh my gosh, it gets population pumps so late. I didn't know it got population bomb at 53. Alright, I don't remember what the lady is. Preforest Rick, go away. Aroma Lady, Badoo and Smoliv. Oh, four oh, so it's like twin needle, but scarier. Uh except it can't be super effective to anything, I guess. We'll use it. Uh, Alan. I think Alan will be fine here. Yeah, it can't poison. Um. Maybe you should buff it. Just saying. Twin, if Twin Needle's gonna be 45, might as well buff, uh, buff this to, uh, 55. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it pace 80! No, 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 55 is good. 55 is good. I actually don't know what that goes to. I think it goes to like 83, 80, 82 with Technician. Good job. Oh, this is the... Hang on. This is my hated enemy. Um, Because he has a Dwebel. This, this is the guy that destroyed us the first the first time we got here. He hit us so hard with a freaking Dwebble. Granted, that was also in a double battle, so it was a little bit more complicated than normal, but still. Bonk. Oh, nice kill. Nice. Having Woodruff here is, is very good. Rock throw. Oh, Smackdown. Ah! I don't resist, but you are super affected. Perfect. Nice. Ah, Tanner learned helping hand. I feel like we probably got the worst ability actually on mouse hold. Or for mouse hold. Tandem mouse is like this this is fine for tandem mouse. But for mouse hold, we got cheek pouch. 
which I don't remember what that does. What does Cheek Pouch do? Restores berries HP when berry is consumed on top of the berry's usual effect. How much? How much does it restore though? Because that's pretty dang good. In Pokemon Unite, I don't care. Thirty three per cent. That's insane. Yeah, so Cheek Pouch restores 33% of the Pokemon's maximum HP when it consumes a berry after the effect of the berry is applied. I thought it was like 10. When, when I saw that it recovered HP, I was like, oh... It's like a little bit, like an eighth, maybe, max. 33%?! Yeah, yeah, Greedent was the only one that had it for a while. So what I'm hearing is I actually need to teach this thing Thief, steal every berry, and then it just never dies. That's only after it's a mouse hold, though. As as tandem mouse, it uh, does not have that ability. Let's pick up. Flower forest, Caterpie, Weedle, Wormpole during the day. Pidgey, Caterpie, Weedle, Wormpole in the morning. And night is Tarantula, Spinarak. Tandem Mouse, which we already got, and Morlol. Oh, sorry. Shroomish Fungus. I don't know which one we go for here. Because Tarantula is not great. Spinarak, though, you buffed, right? I want to say you buffed, like, Spinarak and Ariados. And you also gave them new forms, but I can't get those forms here. We already have Tandem Mouse. Morlol was very eh last time. Shroomish and Fungus are decent. Um, is Pidgey helpful? Is Pidgey helpful? I think maybe we just go in the morning and see what we get, which is... Oh, th that's day, my bad. We go in the day and then see what we get. I think that's probably our best option. So we'll just move it to, like, noon. Give it a minute. To adjust and then yeah okay ah oh we made it there you go. uh let's see here Caterpie Metapod Butterfree
He killed the Pichu. Was it a trainer's Pichu or was it just a wild Pichu? What is this Pichu? I'm so confused. Is it... I'm so confused by this Pichu. Uh, used Harden. We're in trouble. Bonk. We have to use two of these. Alright. Ah, uh, headbutt's good. I would say better than tail whip. Rock throw. This is gonna hurt. I was actually expecting a little more damage there. Solid. Birdly got a level. Ah, Reflect. I remember learning Reflect. It's like Growl, but better, because it lasts multiple mons. Or can, I guess, depending on how fast you kill them. It just occurred to me... We have a Rock-type to fight the Scyther now. But is a Bonsly going to be enough to kill that... Oh, thanks, dude. I forgot he did that. Ah, here we go. Here's our encounter. Caterpie. Okay. okay. Uh, Runaway. Interesting. Well, see what happens, shall we? Because as we all know now, level does not affect catch rate. So... Or at least not enough to really matter. Cherish his balls, Caterpie. Okay. Um. What is your attack stat? 22? Oh, oh, you have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Alan. Mm -hmm. let's, let's... Yeah, let's switch an Alan here. I think we switch Alan and we, uh, we click one echoed voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a crit? Never mind, we click it again. It'll do more damage. Yeah, but it's also, like, you saw a little that did. Now we click Reflect once. And Echoed Voice again to reset the Echoed Voice. Alright, now we go again for the Cherish Ball. I think that was the correct play. Yes, it was. Caterpie. Success. Super Fang can be helpful. Uh, we'll get rid of Baby Doll Eyes. Baby Doll Eyes. Alright, uh, yeah, we do. Name it Carter. Great ball. Success. Oh, and from here we can just kill everything in here, right? Like, oh, a Relor. That was very rude. It's a speed tie? Oh, come on, Bonsley. There, jeez. That was kind of insane. Tarantula.
Nice. Oh, we found the... Interesting. Good. Low roll, high roll, I guess. And switch. I actually forgot that you would pick up. Antidote, nice. Tanner is very concerned about everyone's safety. All right, this gives us um, some gimme ghoul coins. Which is the only reason why we're here. Cut. Oh, I should have clicked covet just to see if it had an item. Dang. I mean, I doubt that those carry items, but who knows? Maybe they do. Couldn't hurt to check. Shroomish. Cut. Wow, what are the odds of that? First off, of it surviving, and then second, of it having and triggering effects for. Bullet seed, huh? Interesting. I actually forgot that it was there. Obviously. Oh, thanks for the apple, dude. Could you, uh... Could you move? Yeah, we're gonna do this real quick, because this is super cool. Dun, dun. Does he, uh, does he move? Or, or am I just stuck without this item for right now? So what about the item over there? Hang on. Thanks. I will, I will show you as soon as we're out of here. And these one. Don't remember what this is. Topple run. Could be helpful. Pebbles. Apple, money, pebbles, money. Talk to you. Here's two heal seeds and we get to keep the escape orb, which is just, just an escape rope. Yes. Alright, that item over there. That one. That I can't get to now without Surf. Eh. I don't know what that thing is over there. Did, did, did you forget about that item? Is that what you're telling me right now? Did, didn't mean to block that one off. It's a super potion. I mean, I might live, but maybe something we have dies. Super potion could be vitally important. Oh, this is the dude with all the metapods. Metapod fan. Yeah, we're going to uh, going to speed this up for everyone involved. Because, no. Yep, there's the ember. Uh, no, not for Fury Swipes, that's a horrible move. Okay. Just keep burning them down. 
Oh yeah, that one lives. Because it's special. Personberry. Tim Mouse still hasn't found anything. Grab this. If we ever get a far fetched. Oof. All right, these are the same guys from before. Um, I might want to go heal though. The whole tree. <laughs> you moved the whole tree. <laughs> That's funny. All right, what does what do? Let Palmy, that was the one from last time. This is the one I messed up. Palmy is not part light. I mean, that's fair. Um, so... Yeah, the Pommy's not part electric. Or not part light. But what I want to do is I want to thief the... Um, dazzle. I want to thief the uh, item from him. I think I think we go heal real quick. Um, oh, actually, maybe I. Don't want to... Yeah, no, no, no. It's fine. I'll I'll thief the um, the citrus berry from him, from the palmy, and then that will let us. Um, It'll let us uh, eat the citrus berry, probably, uh, before going into um, but before the uh, execute comes out, and then we can still uh, covet its uh, um, thing. I think we replaced Cut with Thief on Zigzagoon. Um, and, oh, the level cap's 15 on this fight. Eh, okay. I didn't know that it had a uh, level cap. Until I didn't gain experience right there. All right. Let's heal up real quick. And then, oh, the light gem on the Shinx is also kind of annoying. But yeah, I think this will do fine. Oh, hold up. Ah, Ice Heal. It's a very strange one, but okay. No, no item yet. No real point in registering items, at least. Alright, yeah, so... Yeah. My entire plan is just gonna be take Citrus Berry from Pommy. Kill Pommy. Kill Tadbolt. Uh, and then steal Citrus Berry from Execute. Honestly, I don't think it's that bad of a plan. If anything, it's a little straightforward, but meh. I am kind of sad that we don't have um, uh, a Lady Ba this time, because Lady N was very, very good. 
rhyme really did a good job there, making it to where it's like, oh, I got a lady in. Does Greedent not get Belly Drum? It's fat enough, I feel like it should get Belly Drum. Ah, egg move. All right. So we're going to teach Thief. In place of Cut, because we just don't need Cut right now. Um, also going to use Thief on Woodruff. Get rid of fake tears because we don't care about that. All right, and that's just a good set right there. Give to you. Give to you. Um, and actually, I think I still give Woodruff a berry. Um, I just didn't want, uh, I, I wanted uh, another super effective move. Um, it would definitely help Greedent. Greedent can actually be kind of mean, it just takes a lot of setup. Um, but I think that, yeah, adding Belly Drum to its egg moves would definitely help it out a lot. We're gonna thief. Uh, we're actually gonna covet because that covet deals more damage. Yeah, yeah. So it's natural learn set. Yeah. There we go. We're just hitting the tad bulb hard. Very hard, apparently. All right. Zachary, just just live. Well, you lived. Tadbold goes down, which is good. Pommy lives, which is irritating. Shinx, yeah. Ooh, intimidate. I forgot about intimidate, okay. I'm just gonna Thief again that way. Uh, this is kind of a toss-up. What's coming out here? Like the like the moves. Um, Birdly should be fine. Yeah, we're good. We're okay. Thief, big damage. Same damage, honestly. Uh, and then we Ember. Get rid of that Pommy. T shock hurts. Thief kills the Shanks. Honestly, Woodruff kind of popping off. Uh, now we'll go into Allen to resist the, uh, what I suspect to be at least, the um, incoming uh, Bullet Seed. Nice, good damage. Yeah, now we just kind of got to power through this one. Went for Birdly? Yeah, like I said, we kind of just got to power through it. Uh, let's, let's Flame Wheel. Good choice, good choice. There's Peck, kills nice. Pretty solid. Yeah, so that didn't work quite as planned, but it worked out okay. Double hit. Sure. Took that overbound. All right. Um, yeah, like I said, it didn't go quite as planned, but I think it went okay. So. If, uh... 
Yeah, so the, the plan was to steal the citrus berry and then steal the execute citrus berry, and we just didn't get to steal that one, so. Ow. Not gonna lie, uh, Bonsley kind of carrying right now, which is bizarre. Time for me to ruin your day. Yeah. Uh, it's so direct. I, I kind of like it when they're more direct. They're not like, you know, wishy, wishy, wish, wish, wishy washy. There we go. Wah! Could not say that phrase for some reason. Eat, eat the berry, eat the berry. Ow. <laughs> Just straight up killed. I wasn't expect- <gasps> I'm pretty sure Bonsley learns, like, nothing, right? Oh, it does get Rock Tomb at 20. Eh. What is Mortal Shell? Oh, they learn the same moves at the same time. What is Mortal Shell? Sh sure, yeah, learn Slam over Mimic, because I'm never going to click Mimic. Um, no. Oh, it's Protect. Interesting. I am intrigued. It doesn't have any additional effects, it's just protect. I think we get rid of Hal here. Okay. I don't know if it was like spiky shield. Or like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what additional effect it would have, but oh yeah, I can't use those outside of things, can I? Gotta say that does make berries a little less valuable. They're, they're still good. They're very good, but not being able to use them outside of battle uh, does grossly limit things. Right, we're going this way. Bye bye. Wow. That was the minimum number of steps. Uh, how I would like a gal Galarian Zigzagoon to pair with my normal Zigzagoon. Would've been cool. All right. Relor. <laughs> Got the Gimme Ghoul coins. Oof. Therapy. I just want the Pokemon Center. Actually, first, I'm gonna get these berries. Chesto. Interesting. It's like you're trying to tell me I might fall asleep.
figgy. Those do nothing, right? Uh, these... Oh, wait, figure the... one of the... yeah, the nature berries. That, you know, heal you a lot, but could also confuse you. Were, were you wetting the nature berry? Just gonna grab this while I'm up here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just remember that those berries are like tied to specific natures. Or the confuse the confused part of them deals with specific natures. Wasn't there a guy that normally hides back here? What happened to him? What have you done? Yeah, they're tied to taste, but taste is tied to natures, so... They're tied to natures. I believe on uh, Showdown it actually, like, just tells you the nature. It's like... Natural taste, huh? They don't like those artificial sweeteners and stuff. Oh, neutral. <laughs> I definitely read natural. <laughs> I was, I was like, what? But I was going with it. Oh. That's right, everyone. You're watching an idiot play. This thing has run away. Oh, so it has the hidden ability. I didn't realize that Caterpie could have compound eyes. So we don't get compound eyes, we get tinted lenses. Eh, I'd rather compound eyes. Again, a hidden ability. Not the one we wanted. Alright. Rocket. What is Sudowoodo's abilities, actually? Does it have a hidden ability? Rattled. Okay. When idiots play games. Yeah, this one's locked into Prankster. Alright. Actually, I never talked to the ones in here. I'm curious. What what happens if I talk to them? You. Alright, fine. How much cash do I have right now? Too much to, to do that. We'll come back and do that in a little bit. From good old German RPGs. Uh, Cora. Yeah, I was about to say Cora's down here in the corner. Alright. Helioptile tad bulb. Real dialogue from Gothic 2. It's kind of awesome. Alright, uh, is it this one? Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, I was like, who, who am I supposed to talk to again? forgot it's always a club like we, we just went clubbing ow bonk I forgot that helioptile isn't part light so it's better just to bonk it no I don't want baby doll eyes 
Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. Uh, I think Thief hits harder. Bonk. Gotta say, this, the, like, silhouette of Zigzagoon is actually kind of creepy. Psycho Shift. I don't remember what that does. Ah, uh, user status under them. Yeah. I feel like we don't get status that much, honestly. Like, there's not a lot of status trainers that I'm immediately thinking of. Don't get me wrong, but like, I, I know there's trainers that can apply status. And like, that's always a thing that we think about a little bit, but I don't remember like specific trainers where it's like, oh, we gotta be real careful with that one. <clears throat> Shinx Pommy. Yep, so we're just going to, ooh, intimidate. We're gonna Thief. Yeah. We're gonna headbutt, go for some flinching. Oh, that did so much more damage. Bonk. Zachary, you're slacking. You're not flinching. Oh, no. All right, yeah, we gotta switch here. We'll go into the new electric type that can, uh. Not, uh, not take full damage there. Yeah, couldn't handle the pressure. Yeah, Zachary tried his best. Zachary tried. Yeah, our entire group, except for Tandem Mouse, which makes sense, uh, is male. Including the combi and the PC, and I actually believe the Caterpie was as well. Which is just odd. Like, it's not anything crazy, it's just, huh, interesting. I thought, oh, right, 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 the bike shop. Thank you. And what's up, dude? Helioptile Shinx. Oh, and then we could fight Bruno if we won. A bonk. Let's freaking go! We can't delete Headbutt at this point. It's, it's just not allowed. Ah, yes, Rain Dance. Very, very good. A bonk. A bonk. I think you said we can get shells on what, like Route 7? Oh, it, it used quick attack to avoid the flinch chance. That was rude of it. Alright, well. Eh, screw it. Bye-bye. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Hang on. Yep. Alright. Alright, everyone. Move out! Bye. I did talk to Korra. I talked to Korra before this, and now I will go talk to Korra. Right after Carla tells me, thank you. As she floats away, because there was no walking animation there. She's... Oh, no, 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 no. 
we're talking to her because I'm paranoid now. So good. So good. Golden Rod. I don't, I don't hear anything. L Lone Digger is silent. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing it. I like the jazziness. It reminds me of Coliseum. Um, Magic Carp, what do we name this? I don't think I ever played Battle Revolution. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait, I think I did actually. I played like th once because my in-laws have it and I was like, what? Why do you have this? They were like, yeah, it's awesome. Th they started, I was like, I played Stadium. I'm gonna go with Carper because that's what I'm stuck on, like Harper, but. Carp. Holy carp. I like it. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? Actually makes me think of a... Uh, um... Oh, what was that? Cod of War? There was like a poster from one of the God of War games that looks like it said Cod of War. Um, and in the, uh, New Game Plus of the, it was like 2015, um, God of War, you could get armor that was the God of War armor. That was a lot of words. But also fair. Oh yeah, they sell a Pichu, right? Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that I could still buy it. Uh, do we want the Pichu? Does the Pichu have something special? Does it have egg moves? I feel like there was something special about that Pichu, but I don't remember what it was. I was expecting Rhyme to have a quick response to that, like... Either no, there is nothing, uh, always has billions. Oh, okay, so that one's just coded to always be, what, static, I think. Sweetheart. Oh, that's cool. Supercharge. 
Oh wait, is that the one that powers up its uh... Oh hey, wait, that was the second gym leader. Yeah, life orb for electrical, yeah. That was cool. I like the foreshadowing. What do you mean, see you soon? Alright, uh, we'll get a bike. Woo! Now we can go back home faster, now that we have a Magikarp, and get uh, the Meryl from Flora Town and the Bruxish from Light. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the guy that has the talking teddy or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh really? That's awesome. I'm curious what she says, but that's cool. Yeah, a few extra lines. Yeah. Ah, these are good. That's useless. Um, how much is a super potion? Ooh, special offers on Saturdays. Might just have to uh, push push the day forward tomorrow and see what all we get there. How much are super potions? Where's the market? I don't think I've ever been to the market in this town. There it is. Jeez. Huh. Okay. Something about tiny woods in a flower forest. But uh, guess what? We've been there. It's a real place. This ball mosaic mail. Yeah. All right. Now what I'm wondering. Okay. So it's cheaper to get the um, stuff. Dang. Uh, it's cheaper to get the herbs, but then your Pokemon don't like you as much. But for certain Pokemon, that doesn't really matter to us, because thankfully, affection mechanics are not a thing in this game, because they're busted. Um, yeah, good if you use frustration. The only downside is we can't really use those on... Um, Pokemon with uh, friendship evos, which, eh, we just won't. Um, but I do want to wait. Let's let's buy some Pokeballs first. Since I remember where the market's at, there it is. Hey. All right. So next time, what we're gonna do is we're going to storm the gym. Um, and what I'm, I'm, I'm a off screen for y'all's benefit. I'm a find that Bruxish, hopefully tonight. If I don't find it tonight, we won't look for it in the morning. We in the morning, we won't look for it uh, on stream tomorrow. Um, because it's a one percent encounter, and it's probably gonna take all night, kind of thing. So yeah, we're going to save here. I will uh, put that patch in, and then we'll continue tomorrow. Thank you all for being here. Greatly appreciated. Rhyme, as much as I hated that fifth gym, still a solid game. Well done. Um, the real patch will be done. Fair enough. Maybe I'll just wait a little bit. Um, 
if you're watching this later on YouTube, thank you very much. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment about how, I don't know, planning is important and EVs are good. Hit the like button, maybe. Well, that was fast. Dang. All right, well, uh, with that, thank thank you again for being here, uh, Ryan, specifically, because you uh, made this, and it is actually very enjoyable, even when it makes me mad. Um, along with Soldier, who's, who, thank you for dropping in, and uh, King, if you're still here, thank you very much for uh, showing back up. Uh, with that, I hope that everyone had a good time, and uh, I'll see you next time.